Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we have our next example of how to solve a linear first order non homogeneous differential equation. And in addition to that, it has some initial conditions when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. So it's an initial value problem as well. The general solution is here y is equal to e to the minus h times the integral of e to the h r dx plus the constant. Of course, when h is considered to be the integral of f dx. Now, remember that this equation right here, this differential equation, is in this general form. This is the linear form of the di differential equation of a first order. y prime plus f of x times y equals r of x. So we recognize that f of x is minus x cubed, and r of x is equal to minus 4x cubed. So let's go ahead and write that down. So we have f of x is equal to minus x cubed. We have r of x is equal to minus 4x cubed and then of course h which is equal to the integral of f dx which means it's the integral of minus x cubed that would be equal to minus the integral of x cubed that's equal to minus x to the fourth over 4 so that would be h now we can go ahead and plug it into the general form of the solution so we have y is equal to e to the minus h minus h would be minus x to the fourth over 4, minus x to the fourth over 4. Um, and since it's a minus h, that be then becomes plus x to the fourth over 4. So be careful with the signs. Since this is minus, we need a minus h that makes it a plus times the quantity, the integral of e to the h would be the integral of e to the minus x to the fourth over 4 times r dx, r is equal to minus 4x cubed times dx plus a constant of integration. Of course, can't forget about the constant of integration. Now, do we have the proper differential to integrate this? We need a minus, well, the differential of this would be, um, well, let's go ahead and work it on the side, makes it easier. So we have the exponent, let's say we have e to the u, and want to integrate that, we need a du. So in this case, since u is equal to minus x to the fourth over 4, the du would be the differential of this, which is minus 4x cubed over 4, which is equal to minus x cubed. So do we have the proper differential? Well, we have a minus x cubed here, but we still have a 4. This 4 needs to go outside the integral sign. So that means that we have y is equal to e to the x to the fourth over 4 times, let's see, can we pull the 4 out? Now, we got to be careful here because, no, we can. We can bring it out here because I don't want to mess up with the constant of integration there. So bring out the 4. So 4 times the integral of e to the minus x to the fourth over 4 times a minus x cubed, which is the proper differential right there of our u, which is minus x to the fourth over 4. Still need a dx plus a constant of integration. Now, I'm, now I can... Now I can go ahead and integrate this. So we have y is equal to e to the x to the fourth over 4 times 4 times this quantity right here integrated, which becomes e to the minus x to the fourth over 4 plus a constant of integration. Now I can go ahead and multiply this through. So we get y is equal to, notice that it has the exact same exponent, but this is minus, this is plus. So this cancels out. So we have y is equal to 4 plus the constant times e to the x to the fourth over 4. So that would be the solution to our differential equation up here. But now we still have to include the initial condition right here. When, y is equal to, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6. So when we plug that in here, so we have uh, when y, y would be 6. So using our initial condition right here, so when y is equal to 6, x is equal to 0. So this is 6 equals 4 plus c e to the 0 power. And of course, e to the 0 power, that's equal to 1. So what that means is we get 6 is equal to 4 plus c, or c is equal to 6 minus 4, which is 2. So that allows us to find the value for the constant of integration. And we can plug that in here now. So we can say that y is equal to 4 plus 2 times e to the minus. Oh, nope, it's not a minus, is it? It's a plus. So e to the x to the fourth over 4, and that would then be the final solution, including the initial condition. And that's how we solve a problem like that.